Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live again this morning from outdoors in the downtown area, and things are decently quiet for right now. Hopefully going to be staying that way into the course of the next couple of days, but unfortunately we do have, again, some changes taking place. We'll talk more about what that looks like here in just a little bit. Yes, if you tuned in this morning, you did hear me talk about the four-letter S word, snow, for the area. We'll be looking for, again, the potential for more of that activity coming up as we go into the course of the rest of the day today later on into the week we'll talk more about that again coming up here in just a little while if you are just joining us we are live in downtown from outdoors yesterday we were under the uh, or out on the helipad i should say in the backyard this time we are in the front yard and we are under that gigantic satellite dish that we have outside up into the area around the front yard, the News Channel 3 studio buildings right behind me. Why are we in the front yard under the satellite dish? Well, partly for variety, but mostly because of the fact that it is raining just a little bit. So this seemed to be a good way to keep this dry, the computer and everything else, without having to hold an umbrella at the same time, which you know can get kind of awkward doing a reporting job doing stuff like that. Anyway, if you got any questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. If you have a location, let us know where you're checking in from and also give us an idea as to what's going on with your current weather situation and put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use and let us see more about what's going on in your neck of the woods and we'll answer whatever questions we can get uh, throughout the course of the next few minutes before we go on through. Time is just past 11 o'clock, so says the red bar in the phone thing icon up there. Again, if you have any questions about what we do here or what we're doing or more about what we can show you when it comes to weather, email address in the blue bar up there, austin.onic at wreg.com. Forecast, if you don't want to stick around for the whole thing, the blue bar with the scrolling stuff going by there, you can read that. Social media information here, there, and over there in the graphic. Great opportunity to see more. Let's go ahead and give you an idea as to what's going on here in the front yard. This is, again, a look at what's going on. That's the entrance to Big River Crossing that you see back over there. Channel 3 Drive back to around Church of the River and some of our other satellite dishes seen there on the northwest side of the News Channel 3 studio building. Just going outside for a little bit of variety so far this morning. So, again, looking at some gray skies out across much of the area area for right now and the possibility of seeing again some more rain showers out there. We'll take a look at radar coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the area again showing a little bit of some scattered light cloud cover out there mostly thicker where the rainfall has been for this morning. Windy Country Club Cam if you'd like to check that out go to wreg.com slash webcams for more with, and more to check out there. Also a few raindrops on the City Hall Cam in Germantown the one that sits on the water tower just north of the area around uh, Germantown High School out that direction. Uh, Carrie Ann Ennis, cold, drizzly in Fraser right now. Thank you very much for that. Grady Bennett, showers and 46 in Berclair. Thank you very much for checking in. Cold and windy. Cat Fuller Conitzer, hope I'm saying that right. Brighton, Tennessee, thank you very much. Charles Johnson, raining a bit in Olive Branch. Truck says it's 49 degrees and it feels like it. Likewise here in the News Channel 3 backyard. No question about that. Thanks for everybody for checking in. And again, drop anything you've got in the way of comments uh, about the weather reports from around the area. Drop into the comments section. We'd love to be able to see more about that. David Bruno, give us snow. We're working on that. Stay tuned for more on that in just a little bit. Radar at this time not a lot left over. What we're looking at is, again, mostly gone eastern Arkansas, northeastern Arkansas, and back, whoops, sorry about that, and into northwestern Tennessee. Really just not all that much going on at this point. A few leftover drizzles out there. Some showers trying to regenerate. Looks like a little bit of an echo showing up just north of downtown, right there at the bend in the river, just north of the area south of the state park. And again, much of the heavier areas of rainfall just into northern Mississippi, heading over over into parts of western Alabama. That's that front continuing to make its way on through the area and will continue to head over into around the northwestern Alabama area throughout the rest of the day today. Temperatures have been dropping even while I've been sitting out here in about the last hour or so. 
so definitely a little bit on the brisk side so far. Rita Allen, cloudy, cold, and windy in wind. Thank you very much. Cold and wind, or cool and windy in Jackson. Tina Milam, hope I'm saying that correctly. Drizzle and cold in Hernando. Deborah Hall, thank you very much. Just cold at Crosstown. Sabrina Shepard, thank you very much for that weather report there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Minus six in Fairbanks, Alaska. Wow, okay, that's a definitely an out-of-town weather report. Barbara Akiber smith thank you very much. Uh, say hello to my friends, uh, Carrie and Scott, in Anchorage, if you ever get down that direction. And uh, the lady who lives in Kavik, who is on National Geographic's Life Below Zero. My lo wife loves that program. Would love to get up and visit her one of these days. Cloudy and cool and pleasant site community. Kenneth Littlejohn, thank you very much. Brownsville, Tennessee. Jennifer Pruitt, thank you very much for checking in this morning. We did have have one earthquake of note into the overnight hours. It was about 1.15 in the morning and it was just north of Blytheville, Arkansas. If you felt this, the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis would love to know if you felt anything, when, where, stuff like that. So if you felt this 2.3 magnitude earthquake, head to this web page. It's on my Facebook page and on my Twitter page. And if you felt anything, fill out a Did You Feel It report. It's all about citizen science. And if you'd like to be able to participate and help seismologists understand more about how the New Madrid Fault works, your information could help them do that. So go to my Facebook page. More information from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information available from the University of Memphis. So stay tuned for more information on that. Satellite picture, not really good news here for anything clear out there for today. Kevin Tubbs, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Carrie Ann Ennis, how long will the rain and clouds be around? Uh, as you can see, see on the satellite picture, we've got some fairly solid overcast out there. The rain should be gone by this afternoon and this evening, but the clouds will be sticking around into later on tonight. Wesley Stultz from Ripley, Mississippi. Thanks for joining us. Uh, cold and misty in Ripley this morning. Cold and Windy, scattered showers, Cleveland, Mississippi, Slater, Kading, Natalin. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much for stopping on by. Rest of the area for the rest of the day. Here's a look, if it comes up properly. There we go. Northwest Alabama. Northeast Mississippi, lower to mid 60s to mid to upper 50s. And as I move this back a little farther, you can definitely see where the temperatures are and have gone. Lower 40s into northeastern parts of Arkansas, 30s all the way back into around southern Missouri, including right about freezing into areas of southwest Missouri. So that's how far the temperatures have gone in the course of just the last couple of hours. And all that cold air is going to continue to spill into the area for later on tonight. Most of the rainfall is gone. You can see most of it passing its way on down toward the south and east of us. So that's going to be about it for right now for anything involving rain. There will be more drizzle throughout the rest of the morning, but just not really all that much out there for any time soon at this point. So not really seeing in a lot of major amounts of rainfall. We got about over an inch in some areas, but that was about all that we really wound up with across the area for uh, much of the er much of the area for this morning out that direction. Uh, cold and cloudy in Batesville. Renee Hurst, thank you very much. Paige Cates, snow on Friday, and welcome from Bolivar. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, stay tuned for more there. Vine Grove, Kentucky. Uh, Talina Janini Parent, welcome to the show. We'll talk about the, uh, the snowfall potential out there in just a little bit. Again, more of our webcams at wreg.com slash webcams. Our next front coming on through. This front, again, is just about done heading out of the picture. The next one will be diving in from the northern plain states. And as this one gets closer to us, there'll be just enough moisture with this thing as we get into early Saturday morning to cause us maybe just underneath that big red L right there of some moisture swooping around that thing and giving us maybe some rain mixed with snowfall. But here's the thing. It's going to be coming in from over the continent, over the land surface. There's not going to be a lot of moisture with this. So as of right now, there is the potential, but again, confidence is not high at this point that we're going to be picking up a lot of anything involving huge amounts of anything in the way of precipitation. Some, yes, and most of it back to our north, but that's really going to be about all that we wind up with. Rest of the day today, here's what it's looking at. Again, we'll be seeing those chances of showers moving out of the area for the next uh, several hours, and that's going to be leaving the Mid-South. Temperatures have already hit their highs. We're on the way downwards thanks to that front moving on through the area, and it'll 
will continue to do that throughout the course of the rest of the day with those winds out of the north into later on tonight. Low temperatures north of I-40, right about to just below freezing, south of I-40 and right to the metro area, mid-30s or so. For Wednesday, temperatures back into the lower to mid-50s for highs heading into Wednesday night. Low temperatures in the 30s again across much of the area. Thursday, high temperatures, a lot colder, a reinforcing shot of cold air heading our way lower to mid 40s out there low temperatures Thursday night very cold back in the mid to upper 20s for the metro area lower 20s for areas north of I-40 here's where it gets interesting heading toward Friday again lower to mid 40s for high temperatures out there going into Friday night the purple that you see on screen is where we see, again, the potential for uh, the possibility of maybe some snow showers out there. The S that you see on screen, S minus, means minor, minor snow showers out there. And you can see, again, some of that slicing across the area from northeast to southwest. So Jonesboro, the metro area down toward Oxford, there is going to be a slight possibility teeny tiny of getting in maybe some snow flurries mixed in with a little bit of rainfall here. Not going to be looking at a lot. We will be looking for more potential of snow well back up to our north. And we're talking like Cairo or Cairo up to around Springfield, St. Louis, uh, Paducah may see a little bit more of that activity. And this is going to be again the rule that we see into the rest of the evening so that by early Saturday morning and around the time you're getting up for daybreak there could be some leftover rain mixed with snow showers kind of hard to see here with that uh, light blue color that they have uh, demonstrating for rain and snow showers but there could be some lingering snow showers as we get into very early Saturday morning accumulation at this time again not a lot of confidence that we're going to be seeing a lot with this thing uh, coming up anytime soon Linda Steele welcome from Metropolis Illinois say hello to uh, former anchor Dennis Turner up around that area. Maynard, Arkansas, 38 degrees. Rebecca Bagwell, thank you very much. Uh, Ripley, Tennessee. Carolyn Dickerson, welcome to the show. And Jeff Cobble from Marion, Arkansas. Glad everybody's stopping on by for this morning, and thanks for doing so. So rest of the week, chilly off and on, and there will be that chance, slim as though it may be, of some snow showers clearing out into Saturday night. Lows in the mid to upper 20s and highs on Sunday bounces back a little bit. We're going to be going back into around the lower 50s or so, so a little bit more on the fairly comfortable side out there for the most part, but that chance of snow, it's possible. Again, it number one, it's a long ways away, so that forecast has a lot of different ways it could change, so you definitely need to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for all the variations in what the forecast models see happening at this point. Number two, again, as we go into the next several days, we may not even see anything out of this. That's one of the possibilities, but something we're going to have to watch Again, with a lot of interest out there, as you should be. So, again, we'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the rest of the area. Beverly Marlar Christopher, will winter last more than a week? Good question. Uh, yes, actually, it lasts about three months or so. Seasonal joke there for you. But, uh, yes, we should see some more colder temperatures, according to the Climate Prediction Center. So we will see, again, a little bit of some colder weather out there for right now. Uh, let's see. Stuart Martha Rowland, loving this cold weather. It's nice, but my digits are getting a little chilly, so we're going to wrap things up here in a minute. Uh, proud Memphian Amy Yeager. I'm a proud transplanted Memphian, so right there with you. And thanks to everybody for checking in on Facebook so far this morning. If you'd like to follow me on my own Facebook page, all you have to do is follow along at, at facebook.com slash austinonic wreg. You're already on the News Channel 3 page, so you know more about that. And follow me on Twitter as well at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. You can also get our seven-day forecast available at our website, wreg.com slash weather for more information there and as you can see we've got some pretty chilly numbers heading our direction over the course of the next few days decently cloudy across the area again coming to you live from the news channel 3 front yard under the gigantic satellite dish that sits out here mainly because it's acting as a nice little sort of inverted umbrella to keep all of my equipment dry for the time being but my fingers are almost frozen standing in the wind or sitting in the wind out here and my producers are going to wonder where I've gotten to, so I better get back indoors again and get ready for the noon show just to be on the safe side to make sure that everybody knows where I am and what's going on. Uh, currently at this point in time, uh, Eve Kyle's Pets Indoors. Very good uh, observation there. Definitely want to remember, again, to protect your pets in weather like this uh, to make sure that everybody is protected out there from these temperatures. And remember, animal neglect is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states and rapidly moving toward felony status in a lot of other states. 
So please make certain that you have your pets outdoors protected. If they're supposed to be outdoors, again, adequate shelter needs to be considered. And if you see uh, anything that needs to be reported, again, Humane Society of Shelby County, working with the Sheriff's Department, does a lot of investigations for stuff like that. Uh, Lisa Cannon Mergle, bring in your plants. Yeah, mine uh, going to be suffering some problems out there. I won't be able to bring them in or cover them up. So this will be about the end of the growing season for us. Again, if you'd like to know more about what's going on with the forecast, check us out at wreg.com slash weather or stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim Simpson will have more on your forecast starting on 1st at 4 and I'll be back in for the vacationing Todd Demers coming up bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak Wednesday. Thanks for joining me from the News Channel 3 front yard. Where will I be tomorrow around the studio? No idea. I'll take suggestions. Sales department sounds like a good thing because it's upstairs and got some great views out of the window. So it's you know nice and warm up there and that'll help to protect my fingers up there. So we may consider that, but we'll see what goes on. So stay tuned for another live netcast as we go into tomorrow. More coming up on News Channel 3 at noon. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us on Facebook for Wednesday morning.